uh, we are live from Rubaga. Uh, this is uh, a cultural site that is well known by Ugandans. Uh, here in Rubaga Division, Tabaka's Lake. So, uh, once again, I welcome new members of this channel. My name is Bjar Hanga Dots, and uh, my YouTube handle I use at ParUGA. Uh, to the returning subscribers, I kindly thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Uh, today is a very beautiful day. I have this to with my colleagues here. Most of these people stay in this place. Uh, we are going to share with them about this place. Not only this part, we shall visit many places around this place where we shall be visiting the uh, offices of the Kabaka, Uganda, Ronald Mugabitebi. Uh, we shall be looking at Lengo, Lengo site up there, and very many other places around this place. This place is culture. Uh, like I uh, have always talked of cultural things, so this place is culturally known for its history. So I'm going to share with this man uh, ask you about this. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go So big man, uh, you may use any language you wish, whether Uganda or any language of your choice. Mazina Gawe Nana Naho Kuga We have other people here with us, so we are going also to listen to them. Uh, that's for the home. Amazina Gaoseo. Okay. 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 Okay.
so thank you guys and thank you very much for your information uh, here they are trying to give us a right information about this historical lake uh, this lake uh, is a man-made lake uh, it was formed by Kabaka Mwanga who was friend first people to dig this lake. So this is a culture known as a man-made lake, but right now, as he has said uh, in his words, that it's now a right lake and uh, it is historical and it attracts very many tourists. So guys, this is what we call, uh, it's called which lake? Kabaka Manga Lake? Kabaka, it's called Kabaka's Lake. So uh, it's not very big, but uh, in its way, in its uh, widths and lengths, at least it, it, you can see it's, it's a bit very, 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 very big. So we shall be able to visit these places as I will be able to take you through very, very places. So we are moving up there. We shall be able to see what is transpiring in the background what is neighboring this area you can see people are very serious moving and um, most of the common activities taking place you can see we have transport around here these are buses uh, we also have border border guys so we shall be able to see other things surrounding this lake uh, this Uganda kingdom that uh, constitutes all these features, all, all these institutions, it was founded in the late 14th century when the Kabaka or the ruler of Uganda people came to exercise strong centralized control over his domain called Buganda. And uh, by 19th century, Uganda had become the largest and most powerful kingdom in the region and now Buganda uh, is a, a biggest institution in the country it's a Bantu kingdom within Uganda and uh, it's the largest of the traditional kingdoms in the present day East Africa consisting of uh, Uganda's capital city Kampala
So all this place that you see here, uh, with this perimeter wall fence, this wall fence is protecting the land of Uganda. So these are all properties of Uganda Kingdom. So in front where you see a very beautiful compound, that is the a palace of Uganda Kingdom. So this is a very, very, very busy road uh, since it's an evening time. So this route that you see on your right hand side, this route goes to Entebbe, it goes to Katwe, it goes to other places heading in this right, right hand side. Then on this side, uh, it goes to Ndeva, with other places, Tianja, it also goes to Entebbe. Then this one directly, this is called Kabaka and Jakara Road. This road is so, so direct. I will be able to take you through. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very, very busy. Everyone is moving in his or her own direction. So I will take you through this road and uh, I give you a brief history about this lot. It has very many sculptures that I will be able to show you and you know what is entailed within this place or within this cultural place in the heart of the city of Kampala. So right now, uh, let me head to the palace. We see the, what could be inside the palace of Uganda Kingdom. I continue to welcome uh, new members on this channel. Uh, you are most welcome, guys. Uh, please remember to subscribe, uh, to like or to share these videos on this channel. And uh, to, the to the returning subscribers, uh, I really, I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Uh, in this video, uh, I hope we all, we all need to watch from uh, the start up to the end because uh, basically this video is all about culture and uh, along this road of uh, 
kabaga njagara kwaya uh, the palace connects with the with the have seen and uh, we are still seeing sculptures all in the uh, signs actually it's the pyramid to Uganda kingdom describe the cultural heritage of Uganda kingdom these uh, sculptures they show or they define the taboos or totems of Uganda clans. So in this case, uh, the question lies in our hands. Have our leaders tried to protect the culture of our clans? Because when you look at Uganda, it, it has tried their level best to protect their cultural heritage. We have different, uh, 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 different numbers of uh, cultural institutions in Uganda where we have kingdoms. Uganda Kingdom, Tolo Kingdom, Usoga Kingdom, uh, Rwenzururu Kingdom in Kasese. At least those are the ones that are so common and well known in the country, national wide, as well as international wide. But the question is, have our leaders in our different clans tried to protect the cultural heritage? Will these institutions be able to deliver the needed information in the future for future knowledge absorption or for future generation? So this question lies in our hands. So along this road, this road is very busy and uh, we have different institutions along this road where the head offices of Kampala Capital City Authority is we have Uganda Magistrate Court. We have Uganda, King, Uganda Kingdom Palace. We have Hela Hotel, Soldier Valo Hotel, Uganda Red Gloss Society. So all these institutions are surrounding this place and that's why you see this load is so so busy so guys keep watching the video please remember to subscribe like the video you can as well share this video i thank you i thank you so much